If you just received your GC Ultimate and you just finished your build, the next step is going to be calibrating your joysticks. We're going to open up the configuration app, which will be linked in the description. And you must do this using a Chrome browser. So that's going to be Google Chrome, Chromium, Edge, Brave, just to name a few. I'm going to plug in our controller with USB. We're going to select Connect. I'm going to click this GCU R4K, which is the Kickstarter edition, and click Connect. It's going to load some parameters from the controller. We're going to go over to Joysticks and ignore everything else just for now. And the first thing we're going to do, and I'm already calibrated, but you aren't going to be. So go ahead and click this Calibrate button. This light is going to start flashing red, which this camera is blown out because of the exposure, but... We're going to now rotate both sticks a full 360 around the perimeter of your gate. Three or four times is fine. Let go of the sticks and click stop. At this point, your sticks should be perfectly centered. Right now, this is visualizing the left stick only. We can select right and we can see we have that dead zone, which is doing its job because it's not always going to center perfectly. That's just the nature of joysticks, but it's pretty good. Now, one thing that's unique about uh, this controller is it has an octagonal gate option, and the right side is always octagonal. These angles are supposed to be 45 degree perfect coordinates, but because the way that production works and because every stick and sensor is a little different, this is not going to be perfect all the time. For example, if I hold my stick up to the top right, that might not be a perfect 45 degree, and same with the other cardinal directions. So if we scroll down in the app, we can see that the default output angles are set here. And if we would like to correct these, the simplest way to do that is to simply hold the stick to a cardinal direction, and you're going to click this angle set button at the top, and it will automatically determine which cardinal is closest and update the calibration to make sure that your output angles are correct. Sorry, let me change the visualizer here. We'll make sure we're setting these all correctly. So this is now 90. This is now a perfect 45. And this is now 0. So I've gone around the whole stick on the left stick. We can switch to the right stick and perform the same operation. I'm going to hold this up. Hit set. Just correcting that to 90 degrees. This is corrected to 45. To zero. We'll just go ahead and go around and do every angle. And it really is that simple to calibrate this controller. It's set, and we want to make sure our settings are saved. If there's something that goes wrong and you're not happy with it, you can unplug and plug it back in, and you will reset to the settings you were at before you made any changes. But for now, I'm going to click Save at the top, and we are done with analog stick calibration.